Hello everyone, welcome to Scardia.com. This is Dr. Sana Khan and venous disorder is our today's topic. In this particular topic, we have to discuss about the venous leg ulcers. There are multiple ulcers which can be because of diabetes, it can be neuropathic ulcers, there can be arterial ulcers, and there can be venous leg ulcers. So today we'll be talking about the venous leg ulcers, their pathophysiology, their diagnosis, their clinical presentation, and then obviously at the end we'll be talking about the treatment modalities for the venous leg ulcers and profile access for their formation. Then uh, we will also discuss about the pelvic congestion syndrome, uh, which is produced in the background of the uh, lower limb varicosities. And most of the time, because of the lower limb varicosities, the pelvic veins are dilated. And these pal dilated pelvic veins, they actually cause the patient uh, chronic pelvic pain, which is dull ache in nature. So we'll be talking about the pelvic congestion syndrome, the cause uh, the, how are we going to diagnose the patient with a kept pelvic congestion syndrome and also we'll be talking about the treatment modalities for the pelvic congestion syndrome. So uh, the next thing uh, in today's lecture we'll be talking about is a venous thromboembolism. This is the most common surgical complication and most of the time venous thromboembolism includes two things. One is a deep vein thrombosis and another is a pulmonary embolism. So in a deep vein thrombosis uh, there, there was a vercose triad, which we uh, will be talking about, like the hypercoagulability, the stasis, the endothelial dysfunction. Endothelial dysfunction can be uh, because of the trauma, surgery, smoking, hypertension, and the, the other causes in the vercose triad are basically the hypercoagulability in case of like pregnancy, uh, in case of hypertension, in case of factor five, uh, factor five laden, protein C, protein uh, S deficiency, that will lead to the, and also the stasis, one of the causes for the deep vein thrombosis. So we'll be talking about the treatment, uh, the diagnostic criteria or so diagnostic modalities for the DVT, like the duplex ultrasonography, contrast venography, MR venography, and then CT angiography as well. So we'll be talking about all these things in our today's lecture and also the treatment modalities and the profile access for the DVT. Uh, superficial venous network and the deep venous network, they connected uh, to each other through the perforators and the blood flows from superficial to the deep vein. And the blood goes from the right atrium to the heart. So what happens if the, there's a clot which is present in the deep veins, it will travel down to the lungs and it will cause the pulmonary embolism. And we'll also be talking about the pulmonary embolism, how the patient is presenting and it uh, how basically there's a sudden death, it's silent killer pulmonary embolism. We'll talk about the profile exit, the pharmacological therapies like the IV heparin, unfractionated heparin, uh, low molecular weight heparin, warfarin, and also putting the patient in the anticoagulant and uh, uh, by elevating the lamp, stockings. We'll be talking about all these things in today's lecture. And also, we'll be talking about the superficial thrombophilobitis, which is basically the, uh, there's a thrombus in the superficial or the deep veins, and this is causing the superficial skin, uh, skin changes as well, the superficial inflammation or infection of the superficial veins, and that is called as a superficial thrombophilobitis. And we'll be talking about the causes the diagnosis, the treatment modalities, and um, we have to give the patient NSAIDs, compression stockings, elevation of the limb, we have to treat the varicosities. So in this lecture, we will be talking about all these things. There are so many lectures which are available on our website, which is called uh, scardia.com. So you can always go there, you can get access, and you can enjoy the number of um, uh, number of uh, lectures which are present there. So for the detailed lecture, keep watching scardia.com. Thanks a lot.